Welcome to the series of how these renderings were made. Today we are going to analyze this project made by Lisa, art director at the University of Venice. This image was made with 3D Smax, Corona Render, and post-production in Photoshop. This analysis is of a rather simple image, but it has interesting elements such as water, ripples, car sticks. The ideas become clearer once you find the right references. These are some of the references he used. In this case, the main goal was to play with water and car sticks, so the research was based on understanding how water, reflections and car sticks work in the real world and how to recreate the right light. He placed the plants one by one by hand to recreate the exact composition he had in mind. The vegetation is from Max Street. There is only one light source, a basic Corona Render Sun and a Corona Render Sky in the environment. He used a physical camera with depth of field enabled. This helps to further define the depth of the image. Let's go to the most interesting part of this video, which is the water. The initial geometry is a simple spline with an edit poly to create the surface. To create the ripple effect around the guy in the water, I added a lot of geometry using the tessellate teen modifier to have enough definition to apply the ripple modifier. I moved the center of the modifier exactly where the man is standing so that the effects propagate from there. One of the goals with this image was to achieve realistic caustic effect in the water, so he created the material to recreate it. The only way to get caustics is to create an irregular wavy surface that breaks the refraction of light. To do this he added a noise in both the bump and the displacement. The color is added in the color absorption section in the volumetric dispersion of the material and then playing with the distance values. When working with caustics, make sure to activate everything you need, verify that the primary lights or screates caustics, then check the caustics slow option in the material refraction, and in the render settings check enable and uncheck only in caustics element. As we see on the screen, something interesting are the water splashes on the edges of the pool, it is not so visible but it is one of those details that can help to make a difference. He used a Corona Render layered material. The main material was the one he had for the stone tiles that used the multi-texture plugin combined with the floor generator plugin applied to the pool surfaces. He made a copy of that material and turned up the darkness and reflection a lot. Then he used three different masks as we see in the image. To do that, each mask has been assigned a different map channel, so he could move and place the masks where he wanted before he disabled the tiling option of the masks bitmap. Post-production was done in Photoshop, but before rendering, he added brightness in the virtual frame buffer. As you can see, the rendering was relatively flat. I leave this video in fast motion of the post-production that I will leave the link of the complete video in normal camera in the description. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.